All right, thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. So check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely subscribe here on YouTube. So today uh, I'm in Power BI and I've been looking at this publicly available uh, data set here, this uh, sample financial download that you can get from Microsoft. And I had a little bit of fun just kind of visualizing the data uh, that's within the, uh, the data set, looking at profit margins and things of uh, that nature. But I really wanted to focus on heat maps. So I've got a, a heat map here on profits. And so within the data set, the, uh, the customers are segmented. And so these are the segments. And the heat map allows me to immediately see that the government segment is the most profitable and most of those profits occur uh, within October and December so that's what the heat map does it just kind of draws your attention to the areas of uh, most activity and you know heat maps usually have a little bit of red in them so you know just an alternate take on it to show you what uh, what we can do with a heat map using some red so let's build out a heat map in Power BI. So, taking a look here at the uh, at the data set, uh, these are the fields that are within the data set, and I also made a calendar table. So, I have a video that shows you how to build out the calendar table in DAX, and so you can see the code here. Go check out that video for an explanation of what's going on here. So, the first thing we're going to do here, uh, I'm going to create a, a matrix. And that's kind of big, so let's size this up uh, a little bit here. And I want to bring in the month from my calendar table, and then I want to bring in the country from the uh, from the data set, and let's bring in the sales as well. So I've got this little matrix here, and let's hide these subtotals. So I'm going to go over here. We can go to a subtotals. And we're going to turn the row and column subtotals off. Perfect. Now I'm just going to um, to increase the font sizes here. So let's bring this up. Can I make the text size uh, 14 here? Perfect. Uh, for our columns, for our rows, I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, our text size, let's make that 14. And now I'm going to search for values. And we can do the same thing here, 14 as well. So boom, that kind of fills out. Our matrix is here and so what we want to do now as you can see that my months are sorted alphabetically so I want these to sort you know uh, chronologically here January February March April so on so forth how do I do that um, let's go to uh, within my calendar table I'm going to select month and what I can do is I can say sort by column so it's sorting by month alphabetically now but I have a month number within that uh, that calendar table and we're going to sort by that right so the month number is you know January is one February is two so behind the scenes it's sorting by that month number uh, which allows us in the vis to get that chronological order here so that's a little tip right there how you can sort by another column that's not in the vis so now we have our our matrix uh, looking correct here so now it's just styling time uh, we're gonna go in here and let's turn off let's make the style uh, we're gonna go from default to none and then our colors go haywire a little bit but I can change you know we can change these up and your mileage may vary on how you know what colors you want to make uh, your values I'm gonna go to the third gray down here and for alternate font color I'm gonna do the same thing and then for the common row headers I can also you know I can let's make those white that's fine for the row header we're gonna do the same thing okay so now we are we're back in business here on the colors and so for our heat map to take place here's where the the magic happens uh, so to speak uh, we're going to do some conditional formatting on our, uh, our metric here of say our measure of sales right I'm going to get conditional formatting from a background color and so if I wanted to I could select diverging and that'll bring a third color into the mix but I don't want to do that I'm just going to select a, a little blue here from my palette and we're going to select red as well say okay and boom you see I've got uh, colors that that fill in here and you know you could keep it like this if you wanted to you can play around with the colors you know get it looking how you want it to look 
but how do I get rid of uh, the values if I don't want to uh, if I don't want to see them so you know it's a little bit of a hack right but uh, you can do that so let's go back here to sales and you need to on the conditional formatting for fonts you need to make these the same you need to make the fonts the same exact colors uh, that you had on on your other rule for the cell background so here let's um, let's select the blue here let's select this red say okay and there you go um, my values disappear and I'm left with a heat map so this has been Anthony Smoke hope you enjoyed this tip get out there do some great things with your data thanks for watching everyone